Now that we've looked at the edit modes, we're going to look at the zoom tools. These are called the zoom tools. Um, hopefully this won't take very long at all. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to teach you a key command that I use probably 10 times more than I come to this section here at all. Uh, and that is command bracket. So the close bracket is zooming in and the open bracket is zooming out. Um, let's just leave it at that. Um, so wherever your cursor is placed is where you zoom into. But let's talk about the modes nonetheless because they are useful and you need to know what they do. All right, so you have two little icons here. This is a waveform icon, and this is essentially denoting uh, MIDI notes or MIDI in uh, information. And I will explain that in a moment. So I told you open bracket, close bracket. So these are horizontal zoom in and horizontal zoom out. This one here is essentially vertical zoom of just your audio tracks. And here we have vertical zoom of your MIDI notes. So again, looking at this audio track, I'm going to zoom out by clicking on the zoom out button. I'll zoom in by clicking on the zoom in button. These numbers here are preset values of zoom. So one is essentially as far out as it can be. You're zooming in, zooming in. Oh, Okay, I need to be more precise. I am getting down to the cycle value. Really, really uh, detailed look at what these waveforms look like. These can be customized if you want. Um, but if you, uh, you know, when you're in this far and you're like, I, I just want to get back to where I am and see the whole track, you can hit one that's fairly useful. For MIDI, these, this is a MIDI track, and you'll know more about that in the future. We're looking at this MIDI track in clips mode. And if you came over to the track, it says clips over here, or clips view. And if I were to look at it in notes view, this is, in essence, the MIDI window or the MIDI notes and that can be manipulated within the track, which is kind of cool. I don't work like this very often. I like to look at the MIDI editor itself which is just going, let me just highlight this, coming over to Window and MIDI Editor. See these notes get much, much bigger, take up the whole window. But you can come up here to MIDI Zoom and make them look bigger. Um, and totally useful. If you find that you like to work this way, that's what having flexibility is all about. All right, so we have MIDI zoom vertical, we have audio zoom vertical, and we have horizontal zoom for either kind of track. And down here we have zoom presets. And that's it. 